I always felt being a disabled person was a problem. After learning about social mobility, it challenged me to look at disability completely differently. I myself were, was, was able to gain some confidence and um, self-esteem. Social model basically says we are people with impairments and those impairments clearly have an impact on how we live our lives. But the impairments are not the things which disable us. I'm disabled by the world around me, and if the world was more accessible, I would be less disabled, and then I would just be left with my impairment, i.e. what doesn't work. It's not that my legs don't work that's disabling me, it's the fact that if I want to, you know, if I'm on a flat surface, I can wheel around fine, I'm wonderfully happy. It's only when I come up to a flight of stairs. As a wheelchair user, you have a slightly easier job of explaining the social model. Whereas if you're trying to explain the less physical barriers, it's much harder. There's barriers <laughs> everywhere in life to do with how we communicate, uh, to do with people's attitudes. Discovering the social model actually was a massive liberation on another level. Yeah, I was being treated differently, and no, it wasn't me being deficient, it was everybody else's social anxieties that were being projected onto me. The blame for you not fitting in is no longer on your shoulders. Suddenly, my disability is out there and not in here. It was what made me realise uh, that I was something beyond the thing that other people thought I was. It's a real liberating thing, but it also means you can change it. We can say to the world, look, you must put a lift in this building. You must make sure that the signage is readable for people with visual impairments. If you want that equality to be real, you've really got to then tackle the inequality people are experiencing in schools, in workplaces, with transport. The main reason that the social model I think is important to disabled people is that it allows us to be a community. You achieve a, a whole lot more as a group. As long as we as disabled people make sure that our voices are heard and that all those people that support us also have their voices heard, I think, I think we will get there. I hope that SCOPE is doing work that will help disabled people to become prouder of who we are. Pushing boundaries around who can be included and where. Come the glorious day, if it ever came, what, 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 where all the barriers went, you know, we, we'd just be people with impairment. We, we wouldn't be disabled people uh, anymore. Find out more about Scope's work and how to get involved by clicking below to subscribe to our YouTube channel.